Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is creating it so you can zoom the camera in and out in third person inside of your game. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you'll notice that I've got the camera in the default position. If I just scroll on my mouse wheel out, the camera is going to zoom out and I can do the same going in as well so we can zoom both in and out with our camera. And you can customize this to zoom in and out quicker for each scroll and you can make it so you can zoom further in and further out as well if you wanted. This is very easy to customize and set up and it doesn't just have to be on the mouse scroll wheel as well. It can be using any buttons you like. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me that's going to be control space to open the content browser, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. This could be third, first or whatever you've named it. Once you're in here, what we're going to do is go to edit and then project settings, scroll down until we find input and we're going to add some action mappings to make this nice and efficient. We're going to hit the plus here, naming this one zoom camera in and to zoom in we want to set this to be the mouse wheel down like so or whatever it is that you want and then we're going to hit the plus again naming this one zoom camera out obviously this one being the opposite so mouse wheel up and again you can select whatever buttons you like and we're going to close this right click back inside of our event graph and search for zoom camera in we'll start with the in first so what we're going to do is drag in a reference to our camera boom so that's important that you do need to make sure you have that so we go to the viewport actually we can select the camera boom here in the components list and you'll notice this is what it's like this essentially controls where the camera goes you should have this in your third person character by default if you don't you can add one and it should be called a spring arm like so it's just been renamed to camera boom inside of the third person character but once you've got that we're going to drag out this and get the target arm length and that's just the length of the arm for the camera so how far away it is i.e how zoomed in and out it is then out of this we're going to get an addition node and in here i'm going to add by 20. now this value here you can change to be as high or as low as you want the higher the number the quicker it's going to zoom in and out obviously for going out as well the lower the number the slower it will be so the player will have to move it more Obviously the lower it is, the smoother it will look, but again, the player is going to have to scroll more, so it's up to personal preference of what you want it to look like. Out of this, we're going to get a clamp with a clamp of a float there, with this going into the value. The min and max is basically how far you want it to zoom in and out, the minimum being how far zoomed in you want, the max being how far zoomed out you want. Now I'm going to set the minimum to 200 and the maximum to 800, and these are the values which I used in the beginning of the video in the overview, but you can customize this and set it up to look however you want but you can really just trial and error it to see what looks best for you or you can obviously change the value here as well and see what looks best but again that's trial and error then to actually set this we're going to get a reference to the camera boom once again out of this instead of getting the target arm length we're going to set target arm length like this connecting that into pressed of the zoom camera in so whenever we use the button this will fire off and the value of this will be the return value of the clamp float there like so and it is that simple all we're doing is getting the current length of the arm and making it bigger so this will be extending the length of the arm so this will actually be zooming out not zooming in so what i'm going to do is actually just come off of this and get a subtract node put 20 into here as well as i want it to be the same and just switch these over so put that into the value there and move this down and i'm going to obviously use the addition for what i do next so what we're doing is getting the target arm length making it smaller with a minimum value of 200 and setting the length so we're now zooming the camera in. To zoom out, very similar, what we're going to do is right click, get zoom camera out like this. Pressed is obviously going to go into the set target arm length once again with the target being the camera boom like this. And then we just want to get the clamp so we can duplicate that again as well with this being the value and the return value going in there like so the min and max can stay the same. Once it's all connected up, it should work perfectly for you. So again, you can see when we're zooming out, all we're doing is getting the length, making it bigger with a maximum of 800 and setting that like so. Then we'll compile, save this. And like I say, this should now be the code completely done and working for us. So let's close it and hit play to test it out. If I were to zoom in, 
you'll notice that it's actually zooming out. So I did have it right the first way around. So sorry about that. I'll change over in a minute. And if we zoom out, it does that. So obviously I had it the correct way around the first time around. So I'll just switch these back over like so. So all I need to do is just move them like this. And then we have that like so. So we'll compile and save that. And it might be that I actually had them the correct way around. It's just the action mapping in here I got wrong. That could also be correct. But either way, you get the idea. All we're doing is zooming in and zooming out like this. If the values look wrong to you, switch it around until it looks right. Obviously, you might prefer it to be inverted. And you can also have the option to invert it if you wanted. But I think that'll be it for today's video. So we've got everything done that we wanted to do. What we've done is we've created the system where we can zoom the camera in and zoom the camera out as quickly or as slowly as we want to a set amount of values that we want as well. So we can't zoom any further out than this and we can't zoom in any further than this. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.